Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to give a new startup for technical crazy questions, which I have received from so many of my students. And uh, this type of questions has been asked in so many technical PSUs exams, especially if you observe BARC, uh, ISRO. Like there are so many top electrical engineering interviews, DRTO. So wherever you go, there are certain uh, things have been asked repeatedly, uh, which we may not be able to give the answer. We studied well, we cracked the exam, we got first mark, uh, a top 100. Yes, and some of you working in good repeated companies in electrical domain, but still, most of us not knows answer for some crazy questions in electrical, but they are really crazy. And meanwhile, we must know the answer for those type of questions. If we know why it is, then it's very interest for us to study those topics. Uh, what happened is a few years ago, a couple of years ago, one of my students, when I was uh, taking the class, he suddenly, uh, when I was discussing about three-phase induction motor, uh, three, uh, he suddenly raised his hand and uh, he stand up and he asked one question. What question is, why we are studying starting methods of induction motor? Then I told him, like we are studying starting methods in uh, other machines, like in DC motor also we are studying. And uh, there are certain reasons in synchronous motor why we are not using starting methods that we will see in another video. Like I told some explanations and I told him in induction motor in the same way whatever the uh, reasons that we studied in DC motor like there may be some reason like that for this that's why we are studying this. He again asked that is what I am asking why we are studying it. As you are saying there are some reason what is the reason begin of that. Then I was unable to give the answer suddenly, you know, in, in class there are so many students are sitting in front of me, when a faculty is not knowing the answer, you know how that feel was. So I was trying to think, 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 but I was not getting the answer, only what my mind is thinking is uh, to control the, uh, to provide the sufficient amount of starting torque. We are uh, giving uh, starting methods in induction motor. So I gave the answer after spending a couple of minutes. I told yes, actually we are doing this just to provide the sufficient stark. I did some calculations and research. I told this answer to him. Then again, he did not satisfy. He asked me to explain how it is uh, no, uh, It is giving sufficient amount of torque and other things at all. Then I derived the uh, technical glitches and uh, we know torque expression is there at the time of uh, starting how the induction motor will behave uh, the starting uh, properties of the DC, uh, induction motor is equal to black the rotor test that we are studying one of the tests in induction motor I told him uh, like that uh, there are some uh, uh, sufficient amount of uh, uh, torque we have to be developed because suppose if you are starting the induction motor with some decent amount of load machine may not be able to accelerate so it is very important for us to develop the sufficient amount of electromagnetic torque such that it will uh, become greater than the value of load torque then motor will start rotating. Then somehow is satisfied. But still what happened is, I was started thinking about it, doing the research, why it is, why it is. Then you know, I came to know one proper conclusion. What, what's happening in DC motor is, when we are comparing the DC motor, uh, sorry, what's happening in uh, three-phase induction motor is if I am comparing it with the uh, transformer or other uh, any other machines, especially uh, there is certain amount of air gap in uh, induction machine, yes. And in induction machine, on the rotor side, we are not giving any field winding. Like if you take alternator or synchronous motor or DC motor, everywhere we have a separate coil is called field coil. Such a type of arrangement is not there in induction motor. Yes, it is not there. So what is the point? What is the problem in that? Mm, it is not there means when the moment we will switch on the induction motor, what it will do? If we are taking alternator, there are two people to set the rated flux inside the air gap. We have stator, we have rotor. Between the stator and the rotor, we have a air gap. So that air gap uh, will demand for certain rated flux. That can be done by two people if you are taking DC motor, if you are taking alternators, if you are taking synchronous motor. But in induction machine, there is no such a person. So what it will do, what it will do is, when the moment you will switch on the induction motor, in order to set up the rated amount of flux, it will consume a decent amount of large imaginary current in order to set up the reactive power. Imaginary flux, we know flux is not visible for us. 
so we need reactive power we need uh, imaginary current reactive power component current so it will take large amount of current it is very large so because of that what will happen is a sudden voltage dip will happen in the supply like you can experience in your home itself uh, for an example sometimes uh, suddenly when you are switching on the induction motor if uh, two or three or five to ten induction motors are parallel switch it on then what will happen is when the moment you are switching it on your lights are started slightly flickering why because of the voltage dip why this voltage dip is coming why because this induction motor is consuming a decent amount of large decent i can say a large amount of reactive power current component because of this a large voltage dip suddenly happen in that machine this will directly affect the source are you getting me for an example uh, what happen is you are going on the road somewhere you are you are fastly running on the uh, road okay let us assume that so you are run, rapidly running suddenly what happen is in between there is a small cut is coming from that cut someone is slightly pulling you or a, a huge amount of pressure a high pressurized or at a high velocity a hair is suddenly hitting on you what will happen will you experience a sudden disturbance or not then you will again come to the steady state but a small disturbance you will experience or not yes of course same thing will happen in a normal supply voltage if i suddenly dip if i take a huge amount of uh, Uh, reactive current what will happen is a sudden voltage drop will happen this will directly hit the voltage source the voltage source suddenly will be oh, slightly am disturbed that disturbance we know in our houses or in industries everywhere in power system all the uh, sources are connected in parallel all the loads are connected in parallel yes or no yes because of this parallel connection if voltage is getting disturbed in one line this disturbance will be distributed to all other loads also that's why you are experiencing that flickering in other bulbs when uh, a huge amount of uh, reactive power component is entering into the dc motor, so induction motor so somehow we have to provide the healthy environment we have to reduce this effect it may not be possible for us to make it zero but i don't want to keep this disturbance inside the induction motor so what should i do what i will have to do is i will have to control the starting current i will have to minimize this effect that's why we started uh, developing certain uh, types of uh, starting methods which will provide the healthy environment which will not disturb we will have to provide a smoothly nature to run the induction motor we will have to smoothly set up the flux at the same time we will have to give the protection for our source such that the source voltage will not get disturbed sir small small disturbance is okay if you are going for big induction motor then the disturbance will become big then the parallel connected loads are largely affected such a things are not allowed yes so in order to avoid this things only we are providing starting methods for induction motor hope you got the answer for this question further if any one of you are having such a kind of crazy technical questions in electrical you are warmly welcome you can drop your questions in the comment section uh, i will take each and every questions and i will If I will know the answer, I will update. If I will not know the answer, we will have a conversation. We will discuss. I will elaborately do the research, and I will upload it as quick as possible. That's it for this video.